Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday morning, and uh, today Dave's going to come over, and we're going to set up a beer brewing center in the garage, <clears throat> which means I have to clear a space. It's a mess in there. Um, and uh, Val doesn't seem to be awake yet, but um, I've uh, texted her already. She already knows that uh, she told me to stay home today because it's kind of a drive, and so that's what I'm going to do. Hey guys, I'm hanging in there, having some complications. Um, had to have some insulin shots because uh, my blood sugar went pretty high a couple of times. Um, I'm having really high blood pressure. So um, we don't know exactly what's causing that. I don't feel like I'm in a lot of pain but they give me Dilaudid and my blood pressure comes down. Um, with giving me the Dilaudid, and I'm extremely nauseous, so giving me Dilaudid and nausea medication kind of makes me dizzy and weak and shaky, so I'm not getting much walking in. Um, I did get to do four laps around um, the floor this morning, and... Um, I'll probably do some more a little later, <clears throat> but I don't know exactly, you know, when I can do them. The uh, doctor said that there was a lot of adhesions um, in my stomach. He said there was a big knot, and when he was pulling, and he got the knot untangled, and he was pulling the adhesions, and it just kept coming. Um, so he thinks that... Um, the adhesions might have been what was causing a lot of my pain in my stomach. So, hopefully that was the case. And uh, hopefully once I'm feeling a little bit better here and I can get up and start walking around more and start passing the gas, I'll feel even better and uh, get out of here tomorrow. Um, Everybody's great here. You know, I'm on a floor that the nurses all specialize in gastric surgeries. And uh, they're all extremely nice and very helpful, very informative. Um, they have me on water today. I'm drinking these little itty-bitty cups um, of water. And I have to drink them very, very slow. I've drinking two cups so far, two of these cups so far. I'm on my third one. Um, that's about it. And uh, how's my hair look? Does it still look halfway decent? Okay, I'm on my way over to Dave's, and we're going to go head out to a, um, a place that sells uh, equipment for brewing. Just need to pick up uh, one or two small items to get the brew started. And that's what we're doing, brewing beer. Hello again guys, just checking in again, still laying in the hospital bed, did some walking, but they just gave me some more Dilaudid and some Phenergan, so that's going to knock me out for a while, so I thought I'd just stop by, say hello, and hope you're all having a great day, love y'all. Bye. Isn't that beautiful? That's a beautiful caramel color beer. Well, it's caramel colored tea right now, I guess. Yeah, we right. didn't add any sugars yet, so we're going to do that. That'll be the next step. After it's uh, come to a boil, we'll take it off, add the malt extract and the hops addition, uh, and boil for 45 minutes. <laughs> finished rehearsing and I'm trying to figure out all the stuff that uh, Dave has for his guitar 
And um, that I rarely play with. That he rarely plays with, but it's always there, right? Yep. He has four different things today. The white one is a tuner. Tuner. Oh, okay, that makes sense. The green one is uh, overdrive unit. And that everybody wants. Yeah. It's, well, it's a classic uh, tube screamer by Ibanez. It's a classic chip that most overdrive units try to emulate. All right. And the the baby blue. That's a uh, chorus pedal. And the maroon. That is a flanger. Flanger. What so the chorus pedal, what it basically does, it takes a, a duplicate signal and kind of offsets it. So it's like almost two two guitars playing together. The flanger uh, takes the waves and it kind of <laughs> splits them and, and does some funky stuff with them. Uh, this is very, uh, if you listen to The Cure, The Cure uses a lot of flanger. Susie and the Banshees uses a lot of flanger. All right, and then what does the gray one do? It's cor not, the chorus pedal, if you listen to the church and R.E.M. and stuff like that, that right, would be which, that. We're really into that. What is that? That is a, a reverb pedal slash delay. So it, it'll delay the signal and create echoes in very different... You know. All right, and what's this yellow thing do? That is an acoustic simulator. I'm playing an electric guitar, I can simulate a acoustic guitar because the, one of the hardest things to reproduced live on a stage is acoustic guitar. Today I only played the uh, uh, Telecaster. It's a, I think it's a 2000. It's an American standard made in Corona, California. Yeah, right here in town. Uh, you'll notice this uh, yeah, this, missing, this missing piece. That's just uh, normal wear and tear. Yeah, that was a garage rehearsal, and I was doing something, and <laughs> didn't have all my senses, so that's the way it, it is. <laughs> this is my uh, 40 watt tube amplifier Fender Deluxe. It's actually pretty versatile. It has a clean channel, a drive, and more drive. But I I stay away from the distorted stuff. I use the first, second distorted channel with a little bit of kick just to give it a little body. And this is uh... The Vox. This is British. And this, this is my Vox AC30. It's all tube. It's a 30 watt and it's really, it's louder than this. Yes. Um, it's a Class A tube amp and it's probably one of the best, best uh, small combo amps. And you just crank it up and it distorts beautifully, especially with my Rickenbacker. Can't beat it. If you, if you like the jam, Play a Rickenbacker through this, you'll get the jam. <laughs> my great grandparents were from England, so I got my uh, British flag and my British amp and American guitars. My drum set is British. It's a uh, premiere. So we have a lot of British going on here. Yeah, we like ales. So I hope you uh, liked hanging out with me and Dave. We uh, brewed some beer. Um, the um, we, we will put up a, a vlog of the entire brew. And uh, we did a little bit of rehearsing today. Um, had a pretty good time today. Val is doing okay. Um, she's um, have some issues, but they said nothing's unusual. I will spend the whole day today with her tomorrow. So um, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. If you liked the, vid the vlog today, give us a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't um, subscribed to us yet, go ahead and subscribe to us and uh, share this video with your friends and family. And I will see you tomorrow.